everybody, it is Pixie, and I'm slightly further away. I can't reach you, where are you? We are in a different spot of my room than usual, sort of. And that is because it is time for my updated Magical Girl Wand collection video. I'm so excited. Um, if you guys don't know why I have thousands of dollars of plastic on my wall, I'm about to explain it. Um, basically I've been collecting Magical Girl wands and compacts and weapons and items and stuff for several years now and uh, it's a huge passion of mine. I'm getting my Magical Girl tattoo in 18 days I think. Are you gonna sit on the couch like that? Oh thank you! This is my Magical Girl companion. I did one of these videos before but that was when I only had I think nine items slash wands. I'm gonna say wands just for ease even though that will include things like this, like transformation items. So when you guys see this, a lot of your heads will just think Sailor Moon, but there are many, many beautiful Magical Girl series that are not Sailor Moon, and I collect things from a lot of them, although I do have some Sailor Moon items, because Sailor Moon is cool, but there are so many other Magical Girl animes other than Sailor Moon, and I bet you would love them. So I'm here to help open your mind take you on a ride and Nina's gonna help apparently I love you this is the oldest wand in my whole collection I actually bought this from a friend uh, locally for $50 which is a ridiculous deal and I told her that I was like you know these go for more than that and she was like yeah I just want to get rid of it this is the pink moon stick it is chibi moon's wand from Sailor Moon it does pink sugar heart attack which is one of my favorite attacks because it's so funny and it never works this probably doesn't have batteries in it and i can't show you guys um what every single wand does because they all light up or play music or like have a little gimmick um i would like to but then this video would be 40 minutes does this one work though that is all this one does <laughs> um but yes first wand is Pink Moon Stick from Sailor Moon. Got it for $50 from a friend. It does have some signs of wear, but like, I don't really care. I mean, she had it in her childhood. I think that's cute. I think sometimes that makes it a little bit more special than if it were mint. However, I do love a good, high quality, very nice condition, old as F item as well. This is the Italian reboot of the moon stick from Sailor Moon. However, it seems it has gotten a little bit crusty, but that's okay because these, I know, the Proplica ones are very, very nice and are over a hundred dollars usually. This one was only, I think, 50 or 60 bucks because it was the Italian reboot. Um, that's really sad. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna need to decrust him. I did get this, I don't know how many years ago, but I love him very much. Um, I don't think it has that many gimmicks. It just does that. I might have another sound. That's one of them. Um, I like this. I think one day I would like to get like the Proplica moon stick or like even like the old one um, because this was like, I don't know. It's not as sought after and I am a collector so I care about that kind of thing. But I still think it's cute. I think it's a classic. I think every Magical Girl wand collection should have the Sailor Moon moon stick of some kind. This I got from a thrift store for four dollars. This is worth so much more than that. I made a whole video on it called like, I got a four dollar item for the four hundred dollar item for four dollar item. Oh my god, what a good thrift store find video. Um, I've looked it up. As far as I can absolutely tell, this is legit. This is the only thing in my collection I like kind of am slightly confused about, but it does have the Bandai trademark, 1995, um, and like, as far as I can tell, this is ya boy, however it was four dollars, so. Wee! This is the Kaleida Moon Scope wand from Sailor Moon. Probably my least favorite name for a wand. Why didn't they just call it Kaleidoscope Moon? Kaleidoscope is a thing, a Kaleida Moon Scope is not. I'm enraged, however. This is a good dude. I don't think it works. That's absolutely fine, but I love him. You can watch that video if you want to. Perhaps I will leave a card. Uh... 
I lied, it does work, it's just kind of crunchy. <laughs> this is the only Proplica item I have, which is kind of surprising, but hey, this is the only one that ended up in my collection. This is the Cutie Moon Rod. It's beautiful, it's very top heavy, but I kind of like that. It feels very like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Um, this is beautiful, I got this at a convention. He's my boy. I don't know what to say. It's gorgeous. I completely recommend getting the Proplica ones. There is no shame in buying the new ones instead of the old ones, but if I had my choice, I would have the new ones and the old ones, but shh, shh, shh. This is a more recent one, but I love him just as much. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and I think it also kind of like matches the aesthetic of the card captor Sakura wands. So I think they look very nice together. I'm not gonna spend too much time on these because I did do an entire video comparing them and showing everything they do. I will leave a card for that as well. You can see all my magical girl uh, goodies I got for ya. But, oh, I love this wand so much. It's gorgeous, it's huge compared to like the other ones. Like you can see he's a tall dude. I just love it. Um, star wand and uh, ceiling wand or claw wand. Um, this kind of has two names. I love them both. I did a whole video on it. You can check that if you want. I just love these. These are like big, juicy, beautiful. Ooh, it's just like, whew. Moving from Carcaptor Sakura to Ojamajo Doremi. Um, I don't have, no, I have a couple. I have a few Doremi things. I'm gonna give you, give you, give you the rundown. This is the Peperito Poron from Ojimajo Doremi, the first season. Um, Ojimajo Doremi is my all-time favorite magical girl anime, pretty much tied with Precure, but I think I can safely say that Doremi, like, she's my girl. So this is the Peperito Poron, it is Doremi's wand from the first season. I got this in Mandarake uh, Akihabara in Japan. Um, I love it. It is very faded from the sun but I love him just the same. Um, and yeah, I just freaking love it. This works, but again, if I showed you all the sounds all the made, this video would be so long. So just, I love him. I love him, love him, love him. This is also the one that I'm getting tattooed in like two weeks, so yay! I love it. This is the sweets put on from Moto Ojimajo Doremi, and this is the one that people most say looks like a dildo, but you can shut your un- Christian mouth. <laughs> this was a Christmas gift from my mom, I think two years ago, and it is my absolute most cherished possession. It means so much to me. Um, this was my first Doremi wand. I just, it's like, if the house was on fire and all the cats and humans and like keepsakes were safe, this is the first thing I would go for. Uh, this, yeah, this, I, I love, I love him. <laughs> this one is from the year 2000, which I guess is 18 years ago. In my head, that was still 10 years ago. We need to fix our brains from doing that. <laughs> my final wand from Ojimajo Doremi is the Picotto Poron. I think this one is. This is from Ojimajo Doremi Sharp. Um, I love it. This one's sweet. It looks like a little tulip and it has a little thing that spins around and I love it. This like fills the hole in my heart from that star not spinning around because this does, although I don't think it has batteries in it. So just trust me on that. Um, I love this so much. This one was 1990, goddamn nine. The Peperito Poron, I forgot to mention, was 1999. The Picotto Poron is 1999, but the Sweets Poron was 2000. Ojamajoma, koko ni iru. My cat does not like it when I bap her head with the flower. I do not have the jewelry put on. That is the last wand that I need from Ojimajo Doremi. I also have two compacts from Ojimajo Doremi, or taps, I guess they're called, in Doremi. Um, this is the Rhythm Tap, Miracle Tap, Miracle Tap. The Rhythm Tap and the Miracle Tap look almost the same, but the other one is like a flower. But hey, this is the one I have! This was also from the Mandarake in Akihabara. It was 9,000 yen. I love him very much. He works, bow, bow, but I don't think he has bats in him because I don't want it to get crusty, but I love him. And it also like, it's as equally sun faded as the Peperuto Poronis and they are from the same series and they like went together. So I'm like, I mean, they're both like salmon-y and a little faded. 
and it still has the price tag on it, um, but at least they're faded together. I also have the Koron top from Ojimajo Doremi Dokkan. I love him! It's a very beautiful, pearlescent, kind of opaly white. Um, it sprays the perfume, it's very beautiful, and it's sweet, it's got the holographic backing. There's glitter inside it, but it's really old, so it's a little bit stuck. Is anyone even remotely ready for me to move on to Pretty Cure? Because most of it's Pretty Cure. <laughs> most of my collection is Pretty Cure, but I am gonna jump right in. Let's go. This is the Cure Fleurette from Yes Pretty Cure 5 Go Go. <sighs> I love this. It has beautiful flowies, so you can take out the flowers, but you and like depending on where you place the different ones, like. It's one of those deals where the wand is the same for each character, but then they have their little colored thing that you put in the different spot. But I like to keep it with all of them in it, because I think it's beautiful. I loved Yes Breaker 5 and Yes Breaker 5 Go Go. They are in my top, like, four, at least, favorite Precure series. I think it's wonderful. I love having this wand, and I think it's the bomb. This is from 2008. <laughs> Next up, we have the Flower Tag from Heart Catch Precure. This was my first ever Magical Girl wand that I got, and I think it was a birthday prezi from my mom when I was like 15 or something. <sighs> I love it. I really wanted to get this tattooed, but most of it's white and I couldn't figure out a way to make it work as a tattoo. Oh, but I just love it so much. Um, this, yeah, this is very sacred, sacred item to me. I love it so much. I also think it's just like one of the most beautiful Precure items ever. Um, the dome, the clicking noise the dome makes is very nice. Very nice. Um, and it is from 2009. Ta-da! And once again, you can clip out this blue heart and put in the pink heart if you want to be marine or blossom. But Cure Marine is my all-time favorite magical girl slash pre-cure. Um, so I keep marines in because I'm marine. <laughs> Next up, we have Smile Precure, also known as Glitter Force which is the English version that was done on Netflix, but if anyone comments and says, that's not Precure, that's Glitter Force, I... Oh, just don't, please. This is the Smile Pack. I picked this up from the Mandarake in Akihabara as well. I literally just like dumped everything. It was the first Mandarake we went to in Japan. I ended up going to three. And I just like, I was like, um, sumimasen, I will have this and this and this and this and like, yes, please. And they tell you the total and they're like, are you sure that you know that you're paying this much? And I'm like, mm-hmm. I think this was only um, like 3,000 yen or 3,500 yen or something. Might be remembering that wrong. But this is just an item that I have wanted in my collection for forever. Um, Smile is a fan favorite. It is a very good series. That's why they chose it to make it the one that they turned into English. And I know also Doki Doki. Oh my god. But yeah, it's just gorgeous. And it was new in the plastic, I think. Or at least they still had the box. Um, this is from 2011 Ooh. and yeah it's in like almost like new condition it's gorgeous also from smile I have the princess candle this was also a fairly early um, magical girl wand that I added to my collection I think it's gorgeous I also think this is one of the cooler wands that Precure has put out when you pull the trigger the wing moves Come on, dude, that's pretty freaking cool. Again, it has this beautiful, like, pearlescent, sort of opalescent, multi-duochrome shift, um, sort of effect. I love it. <sighs> okay, I think it got broken from just dust or just, like, existing for too long. This would also be from- oh, this was from 2012. But, um, it used to be, like, you would wave it around and, like, do your spell, and then at the end you'd go- <sighs> And there's a microphone and it would blow out the candle this is like the coolest gimmick of any of the wands i have other than maybe the card capture sakura wands watch that video to figure out what those do but it was so cool literally the light would be like shining like red or rainbow or whatever color for whatever different character you had in i have pieces in right now because she's the coolest and then at the end you'd be like and blow out the candle and the candle would go out and it would make this little like candle blowing out noise. Anyway, it was really cool. 
I love this. I just hit it really hard. I'm sorry. Um, yes, princess candle. Very nice. It's time for another thing I'm getting tattooed on my leg. Not actually, but I'm getting the main word, the main like phrase from this anime tattooed on my goddamn leg. It is time for arguably the best Precure series of all time. That's a big statement for me to make because I said Heartcatch was my favorite for years. And then Go Princess Preaker came along and like took my soul out of my body. It is so good. I have three items from it. This is the Crystal Princess Rod. It is gorgeous. It lights up. Does it have batteries? Mm-hmm. You also collected these dress-up keys so you can change the character depending on which one you put in. Um, it's just beautiful. This one rocks. I also wanted this tattooed, but again, most of it's white and you can't super tattoo white ink. You can, but like usually not as good of an idea. This wand is gorgeous. This wand is my baby. This wand brings back memories just looking at it and I love it. I have um, the rose key in right now because Flora's main key is hanging from my car windshield thing because I am a magical girl. It keeps me safe. This one was 2015. We're getting much more recent now. This is the most awkward thing in my collection because it like doesn't fit anywhere. It doesn't even fit on the shelf I keep it on, but that's fine. This is the Music Princess Palace from Go Princess Precure. It's beautiful. It's like a little freaking music box castle. It's amazing. Once again, does it have batteries in it? I'm not sure, I don't think so. But like these doors open and you spin the thing around and they go around and it's beautiful and there's little steppy steps and I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's really good. Also, the last thing from Go Princess Precure, I have the Princess Perfume. This is their transformation item. It is one of the coolest transformation items. I also did a whole video on this, I think, or at least I showed it extensively in my first Magical Girl collection video. It's cool as frig. It's perfume, once again. There's like a band of plastic that moves down every time you push the little trigger thing so the light gets trapped and it looks like the perfume is running out. It's amazing. I love it. I have Mermaid's key in right now. Don't know why. Mermaid is a cool girl. Yeah, it's freaking cool. I love this. Baby. I also did a whole haul of these, so I'm not gonna like go extensive, but um, I have the sweets packed, beautiful, gorgeous transformation item, um, reminiscent of the smile packed, but I think different enough. Beautiful, again, I'll leave a card somewhere if you wanna go see the rundown of that one. I also have the whisk, I think it's called the like, let's sing together whisk. Mina da Utao whisk. Um, I love this so much. I think it's sweet. I found out that it plays the end song and I lost my damn mind. Um, this isn't really, like, it's not the same as my other Magical Girl items from Precure. It was kind of like a more, like, these are sort of more on the collectible side, although they are definitely marketed toward children as well. And this is more just like happy kid sing into it time. But I thought it was cute and I wanted it for my cosplay. So yay. And also my favorite item from Cure Cure Pre Cure Mode is the rainbow ribbon. This is Parfait's weapon. It is gorgeous. I have the ribbon um, tucked away in my magical girl parts drawer. Um, but yeah, I think this is just one of the most beautiful things that like Precure has ever put out. It's gorgeous and good. I am a sucker for a good rainbow motif, some good blue X pink, and a golden star. This it's like I designed it. It's so good. I somehow completely forgot to include the Flower Echo Wand from Mahou Tsukai Precure or Magic Girls Precure. It's from 2016. It's in the background. I don't know how I missed that, but I have that one too. I also want to show this happy little area. Um, I have 
my precious Doremi dolls. They are very important to me. They were both given to me by wonderful Confetti Club members to my P.O. Box. Thank you, Mary and Devony. I love you both so much. I have my Miracle Light from when I saw the Dream Stars movie in theaters in Japan. I have this Doremi Peperuto put on bag charm. I have some amazing Yes Precure 5. I don't think Go Go. Just Yes Precure 5. Can't completely tell just by their little heads, but those were also sent to my P.O. Box from Mary, who also sent me the Doremi on a different day. Why are you so nice to me? Um, this is an idol thing, but it's a little uh, pre-ticket from Prepara. I have the creme de la creme. <laughs> the most important part in my whole collection is my sacred picture of me and the Precure girls at freaking Yomiuri Land in Japan. I have never been so happy. This was the best day of my life. I am so freaking happy to be with my soft magical girls. That stays there forever. Again, if my house was on fire, this would be coming with me. I also have the Precure All Stars uh, towel thingy that I got from spending over $200 in the Precure store, but it's fine. And a candle and a lighter. <laughs> This is where I hang all of my Magical Girl getchapon, so the whole bottom part is all Oja Magi Doremi. I got a little Creamy Mommy in there. The top is all cats. You can see Chibi Moon out there, but like, she's doing fine. I have a little Sailor Moon thing from Animate, I think, in Akihabara. And then we got ya boys in the bottom. This video's Future Confetti Club member is Princess Carnival on Instagram, looking so cute. Your hair is so pink and so fluffy and you are so freaking adorbs, rocking the classic Confetti Club banner tee. You are the cutest. Thank you so much for your support. You guys know, if you want to hop on down, check out some merch, you can become a Future Confetti Club member. Just use that Instagram tag and I will peep your picks and then they will be here and everyone will be happy and it will be the best. I love you guys so so much and I will see you in the next video which is not this one because this one is over. Bye!